I bought SCHD daily for the last three months straight. Boom. Before we get started, I wanted to let you guys know that right now, Moomoo is giving you up to 15 free stocks for signing up and using that platform. That link is going to be down in the description. But here we are on SCHD right now. They're at $84.67. Over the last week, they've been trading sideways. The last month, they're up 1.8%. Last three months, they're up 10%. And year to date, they're up 11%. And over the last year, they're up 21.91%, which is, you guys said with me, insane. Now, for the last three months, I've been investing $20 every single day inside of SCHD. So it takes me around 246A, around four days to get around one share of SCHD. And let me show you guys how it's been going. So, so far, I have 62 shares. I did buy a bulk of shares at once but right now i have 62 shares and my average cost is 78 dollars and 69 cents with a market value at five thousand three hundred dollars and i'm up eight percent over the last three months alone i'm up eight percent i'm going to show you guys exactly how i did that and why i decided to get inside of sghd at the perfect time in this video so make sure you stay throughout the entire video so you don't miss out on any crucial information but here we are on SCHD. You guys do see I have a reincurring investment of $20 daily inside of SCHD. If we was to click that, my first order was placed on July 10th, 2024 at the price of $77.53. Now, even though you're buying the lows and the highs of SCHD, every time the price goes up and down, right now my average price is at $82.30. So me buying that lump sum when it did have a slight pull back and getting in at the right time did help out this portfolio a lot. But I've been investing around $400 every single month. If, if you do $20 a day, that's $100 a week or $400 a month. I'm going to show you guys how that's going to add up over time. How I'm going to be bringing in thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars every single month, every single year in dividends from SCHD. So by the end of 2025, July 10th, we'll have invested $5,140. So it's been going pretty sweet for me so far. Now, SCHD is having a 3 to 1 stock split, a 3 to 1 ETF split, whatever you guys want to call it. So for every one share of SCHD, now you're going to have three shares of SCHD and it's going to cut the price in half. And a lot of people are asking, do you need to buy shares before the split or after the split? It doesn't matter. And I'm going to show you guys in this video because it, it really doesn't matter. If I give you a dollar or if I give you four quarters at the end of the day, you're still going to have one dollar, right? So it really doesn't matter when it comes to this stock split. It's just that statistically speaking when companies do have a stock split they usually outperform the s p 500 they outperform the stock market by a significant amount over the next 365 days over the following year now let's dive a little bit deeper inside of SCHD and see what companies do they have inside their portfolio and how they're able to have such a successful growth rate how they're able to have such a successful dividend growth rate and how they've been increasing their dividends every single year for the last couple of years but wait before i show you guys that i have something to tell you right now in the month of october i'm having a seven day free trial on side of, inside of my patreon the patreon will take you to my discord inside the discord i post every single time i buy and sell the stock i post my technical analysis my options and trades in there and we have three pro day traders in there that post their option trades every single day and if you want to be a part of a community of investors and traders that want to be financially free just like you that link is going to be down in the comment section that link is going to be down in the description over there you have access to three different free courses i got inside of the discord and you got access to my portfolio tracker guys <laughs> with the seven day free trial this is the best offer i could possibly give you guys click that link down in the description Click that link down in the pin comment section and get it started today. It's seven days free. What do you have to lose? And if you use these seven days to go in there and take everything, take my tracker, take my option trace and everything like that, the least that you guys could do is hit that thumbs up button and hit that subscribe button because that really helps out my channel more than you guys can possibly even imagine. Okay, before I show you guys how I'm going to be bringing in thousands and thousands of dollars every single month from SCHD, let's take a little look at SCHD. If we take a look at the summary over the last year, they're up 21%. Over the last five years, they're up almost 60%. That's a little bit over 10, 11% every single year. And over the last 10 years, they're up 126%. That's around 12.6% a year. But if we take a look at their holdings, this ETF has around 103 different good quality companies inside of their portfolio. If we take a look at that top 10, they have Home Depot, Verizon, Lockhead, Chevron, BlackRock, Pfizer, 
Coca-Cola. These are their top 10 holdings with Home Depot being the biggest one at 4.39%. So, so before we take a look at the holdings, this is one of the things I'm kind of upset with, with SCHD is their technology sector. It's only around 10.4%, even though technology companies usually grow a lot quicker and can raise the stock price of SCHD even faster, but it would lower the dividends. So I'm kind of okay with that. They do have diversification throughout their portfolio. So let's take a look at Home Depot. Home Depot dividends, they have been growing this for the last 14 years and they have a growth rate of 11.59%. They have a they have a 2.19% dividend yield. Verizon, they've been increasing their dividends for 19 years, a low growth rate, but they have a high dividend yield of 6%. Absolutely love it. Chevron, they've been increasing their dividends every year for the last 36 years, a 6.4% percent growth rate with a 4.3 percent dividend yield blackrock has actually been killing it they're up 51 percent this year alone carrying the team carrying the etf with their growth right there absolutely love it so when we go to their dividends and scroll down they've been increasing their dividends for 14 years with a rate of 9.27 percent with a two percent dividend yield and coca-cola as you guys can see there is a trend going on 27 percent growth this year alone and as you guys can see there's a trend growing on all of these companies have been growing their dividends for over what, 10 years or so this one have been increasing theirs for the last 61 years a 3.7 percent dividend growth rate with a 2.7 five percent dividend yield so these are part of their top 10 holdings you, got, you can see that they like to put companies inside of their portfolio that has been growing their dividends over the last couple of years or so and have a pretty good dividend growth rate so just like SCHD right here if we go to their dividends you guys can see 12 percent dividend growth rate last 12 years with a dividend yield of 3.48 percent now we take a look at SCHD. This is on the chart right here. Now I'm, I'm going to show you guys exactly where I got in. We're not going to look way back here. This is, you know, 2020. We all know what happened in 2020, 2020, and then a big boom from 2020. And then eventually it had its consolidation period. It pulled back to a good point right here to this area. And this was really, we, sh we should have got in on SCHD, but right here on SCHD is it just consolidated right here until it finally broke out and reaching new all time highs. Now we take a look right here on SCHD. We got in on SCHD in July. So around right here, July 10th was right when we got in. And I did this for a reason. It had a bottom right here, right in the 200 EMA. It used this as a support line, came right here, used it as a support line, support line. And I was like, okay, I'm going to finally get in. It's going to use it as a support line. So we got in at the perfect bottom and we're riding it all the way up to the top right here to where it is currently today. So we could use this as a uptrend. I'm going to continue to invest $20 every single day. And if it does have a pullback, let's see if it does have a pullback like it did back in 2022 around May. And it's starting to pull back like this and coming down to this area. Or if it does have a to where it's starting to trend down, it's making lower lows, a lower low, lower low, lower low. That's why I will probably up it from $20 every single day to maybe $25, maybe $30 every single day so I could pick up more shares on the way down. I'm not just going to invest $20 every single day when I see it at an awesome price for me, I'm going to go in and buy up even more shares. So right now, I'm probably going to draw the zone. Uh, this would be a good zone right here for me to go in and pick up more shares at a lump sum on SCHD between $75 price point and $74 price point. If it ever break down below this uptrend line and come back to this area, I'll probably go in and up how much I'm investing. So now let's look at my future projections of SCHD. So we're going to type in SCHD. This is the dividend calculator. And we, right now we have 60 shares and we're going to invest around. Right now we're investing around $100 a week because it's $20 a day or $5,200 a year. And they have a, what is their dividend yield? 3.48%, 3.48%. They increased their dividends at 12 and they've been increasing their stock price by 12% every single year for the last, what, 10 years or so. And then we're gonna say 30 years. So this is us investing $20 every single day inside of SCHD for the next 30 years. And if they continue to increase their dividends by 12% and continue to grow their stock by 12%, this is what we could be making in the future. We're gonna hit calculate dividends. <laughs> and there we go, in 30 years, I have a $2.5 million account 
bringing in $91,000 every single year in dividends, doing absolutely nothing at all. And if we was to scroll down from year one, I'll be bringing in $176 in dividends. At the end of year 10, I'll be bringing in $3,654 in dividends. This is the snowball effect because we're reinvesting our dividends. And then by year 20, we're going to be bringing in $18,000 in dividends. And this is the kicker. This is when the snowball effect really start kicking in because we go from 18, 21, 24, 28, 33, all the way to 44 to $78,000 at the beginning of year 30. And at the end of year 30, we'll be bringing in $91,000 at the end of year 30, just from investing $20 every single day or extra $100 a week. You guys, that that's a, that is a lot of money to live off of by the time you're ready to re retire, almost $100,000 with a $2.5 million account. Now guys, you you could do it. You could, you could find an extra $20 a day. You can find an extra, you can find a way to make an extra $100 a week. I'm telling you guys, you do it especially if you learn how to sell cover calls or how to option trade or to collect those premiums or to collect those dividends like that you can you can find a way to make an extra 100 dollars per week from either your side hustle are you learning how to trade are you learning how to collect premiums on the stocks that you already own if you want to learn how to do that that is going to be down inside of my patreon patreon to take you to my discord seven day free trial but i'm telling you you guys can find a way to make an extra 100 dollars a month to invest inside a good quality stock. Now, don't just go, okay, I got $100. Let me see what I could buy 10 shares of this $10 stocks. You guys don't have to do that. You guys could buy good quality stocks or a good quality ETF. Even if you don't want it, a good quality stock or ETF that you can invest those $100 into and collect and let that add up over time. Yes, you might not see any difference over the year one to year two, but by the time you get to year 15 to year 20, you're going to see the difference in your in your portfolio. It's going to start exponentially growing fast because of the compound interest effect, the snowball effect. Once it starts rolling, it's rolling. And if we was to just invest for one more year from year 30 to year 31, I'll be bringing in well over $130,000 in dividends alone from just from just SCHD. So guys, I'm telling you, find a way to make a little extra money that you can invest inside the stock market or cut some of your expenses. That's an even easier way. If you can find a way to cut your expenses by $100 every single week, let's say if you're buying cigarettes or alcohol every single week, just cut that and make that 100 Or if you're going out every single week or you buy a pair of shoes every single month, just cut that and use that to invest inside the stock market. And you don't even have to find a way to make an extra hundred dollars. You're just finding a way to save extra hundred dollars that you can invest inside the stock market. I promise you, you guys could do it. If you made it to the end of this video, let me know down in the comment section. Let me know down in the comment section. Is there any stock inside your portfolio or any ETF that you're currently that you're currently dollar cost averaging in on that you buy every single day or every single week or once a month, no matter what the price on? Please let me know which one that you're doing it on down in the comment section. I know a lot of people are doing VLO or QQQ or SCHD, but I want to see if there's any other ones that you guys are doing inside of the inside of the market down in the comment section. And how long have you been doing it? I can't wait to read you guys comments. Don't forget to pick up your 15 free stocks with Moomoo. That link is going to be down in the description. Don't forget to pick up your free. Don't forget to try out the free trial of my Patreon. That link is going to be down in the pinned comment section. But other than that, guys, I'm Zeke bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.